Sí. Vale, ok. So, ok, Nina, I've got ready, ready or ready? Ready. Ready. Ok, yeah. ready, steady, go. I've got the eukaryotic model ready, ready. So, explain ready. us something. What about it? Ok, so eukaryotic cells, not prokaryotic, have a nucleus membrane where they keep the DNA inside and they leave outside the cytosol and the organelles. Organelles, so yeah. nucleus and organelles, ok, outside, and DNA inside, o sea que, o oh, ADN dentro del núcleo, vale, muy bien. And do you know what group this belongs to? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, animals... Plants and also Protoctista kingdom that maybe no one knows what is a Protoctis, like Ameba <laughs> or like Algae. Okay, I remember you. Fungi, yeah. and I think I named all. Dicen todos, no? I think so, sí. Okay. So basically, this means all groups, but not bacteria or archaeobacteria. Ok, so all groups, todos, excepto bacteria y arqueobacteria. Muy bien. Entendiches. Eh, a mí quedó muy claro. No sé, ellos muy estudiantes. Que te manden el es luego algún, algún WhatsApp o algún mensaje en el vídeo. Ok. Chicos, vale, podéis escribir, pero aportarse bien, ¿eh? Nada de decir tonterías con Nina. Que a mi curma entero me de todo. Ok. Uh, are you ready? Should we continue? Yes, please, go ahead. Okay, so life that contains eukaryotic cells can be unicellular as an, do you know what this is? Amoeba. Yeah, or multicellular like? An elephant? <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Great. <laughs> the size of eukaryotic cells ranges between 10 and 100 micrometers. So they are bigger now, bigger cells than prokaryotic, okay. Yeah, so... But all of them have something in common mentioned above. All eukaryotic cells have a nucleus. Okay, I'm showing them now here the nucleus. Fantastic. They are, they have nucleus. Fantastic. What else? So this means the DNA is surrounded by a membrane. They also have a wide variety of organelles and structures that I would like to explain to you later on. And a cytoskeleton. A cytoskeleton. Wow, I'm looking for it here on the 3D model, but I'm okay. Uh, yeah, microtubules. Okay, more or less they can they can watch it here. Yeah, okay. So a cytoskeleton is a network of filaments that give a cell its shape and enable it to move. Also, it can traffic substances inside the cell and it's very useful for cell division. So some of these organelles that we are going to watch um, now are present in all eukaryotic cells, such as mitochondria. Okay. Oh, mitochondria. Okay, but here yeah. in the 3D model, they say mitochondrion. So mitochondrion is one, and mitochondria is one, two, more than one. Plural. Many, Plural. many mitochondrion. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, I'm sure my students didn't either. Okay. Yeah. Um, there are also ribosomes. Ribosomes. Okay, ribosomes. Okay, yes, I've got many ribosomes here. Wow. Yeah. The Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus. Okay, it's here in the 3D model. Oh, perfect. The endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic okay. reticulum. Yes, I've got it here. In Galego. What? In Galego. Reticulo endoplasmático. Ah. Liso, erugoso. Tipo es decir lo perfecto, tío. Que tío dice muy bien. The rough endoplasmic reticulum. No, but I mean in English. In, in Galician. Ah. ¿Cómo es? Reticulo... <laughs> Endoplasmático Reticulum. rugoso. Reticulum endoplasmático rugoso. Él ha podido decirlo muy bien porque eh, tengo mejor 
de, de, de Reino Unido y lo mejor de Galicia, pero otro inglés sería retículo endoplasmático rugoso, muy divertido. <ríe> muy bien, bueno, ¿qué, qué más orgánulos tenemos? Eh, has it got more organelles? Yes, so we have lysosomes and other vesicles. Lysosomes, okay, I'm showing them a lysosome, okay, right? And another, okay, I'm fine. I, I found here a peroxisome too. Okay, fantastic. So, um, other organelles are specific uh, to cells of certain organisms. So we can go on and find out more about any of these differences. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so let's go. Okay. So inside the Ukraine, eukaryotic cells of algae and plants there are some organelles only present in that groups like okay. chloroplasts and do you know what happens inside a chloroplast ah uh, i think yes i know uh, what? I, i will try to say in english photosynthesis okay. can you say it Photos for me photosynthesis photosynthesis yeah. yeah is that right okay that was good Um, and there are large vacuoles that can occupy large uh, vehicles. Vehicles. Yeah, it's some people say it differently. So vacuoles, vacuoles. Vacuoles. I would say vacuoles. Okay. So I've got here in the 3D model a vacuole or vacuole. Yeah. That can occupy a large portion of the cytoplasm. Okay, fantastic. Yes. Their nuclei frequently are at the periphery. So this means along the side of the cell. Okay, right. Perfect. I've got it here. Fantastic. Yes. They have a cell wall covering the cell membrane and they don't have centrioles. Okay, so they don't have centrioles. Wow, so interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm so I am showing them the cell wall. And of course, here there isn't any centriole. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. They can have the rest of the organelles mentioned as before. And then cilia and flagella can be part of algae cells, but not in plants. Okay. Except okay. sexual structures. Okay, only sexual structures. Yes. Okay. It's because here in this model they don't display it any. Okay, fantastic. Okay. So the cells of protocysts and animals have two centrioles and many organelles, but they do not have cell wall, large vacuoles, or chloroplasts. Their nuclei are generally more or less central, and occasionally structures are used for movement like cilia and flagella. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, what about the cells of fungi? Because I think I've got here a fungi cell. Fungi. A fungi. Fungi. <laughs> Not fungi. fungi. Yeah. yeah. Fungi. They say that fungi, he is a fun guy. Like, yeah, it sounds happy. like a guy who is, whoa. Who, yeah. Okay, a lot of fun. No, fungi. There is a joke. The joke is... Why do you always invite the mushroom to the party? Okay, because it's a fun guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so kids, <laughs> have you heard? You must invite to your parties a fun guy. <laughs> Un hongo, un fungo. Cha champiñones? No. Sí, champiñón, mushroom is a fun guy. En, en galego decimos cogomelos. Eh, Co cogomelos, Melos. setas en español. Let's go. Okay, with, so yeah. cells of fungi have uh, cells have organelles similar to those that you find in an animal cell, but they have a, a cell wall. They've got an cell wall. Wow. What do yeah. they have, uh, all of them, in common? Okay. So all these cells have in common a plasma membrane. A plasma membrane. Okay. Yes. Cytoplasm. Yes, okay. Nucleus with nucleus membrane. Okay, and nucleus here. 
Okay, yes, what else? Genetic material. So this is DNA and... <coughs> and RNA. Yes. RNA. O, eh, RNA. Nos decimos RN. Ok, RNA. RNA. Um, okay. Y ADN, ¿no? Yeah, sí, decimos ADN y RN. Ácido desoxirribonucleico para el ADN y ácido ribonucleico para el RN. Uh, y en inglés es... Ribonucleic acid. Ribonucleotid acid. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat again for my students. Ribonucleic acid. Ok, um, what else? So, um, my favorite one, endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum. Ok, yes, I've got it here. Ok. Mm -hmm. Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus. Well, ok. Mm -hmm. Ribosomes. Ribosomes. Ok, yes. Mitochondria. Mitochondria. Ok. Cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton. Ok, it's not very clear here in the. But I will show them. I, I'm going to put here a picture. Mm -hmm. Ok, so you have like actin. This one. Ok, and vesicles and storage vesicles. And lysosomes. And ly So fantastic, Nina. Uh, thank you very much for making this video. We can go further and, and make another one if our students like this. Like, like this. What do you think? Are they going to like it? I hope so.